Hi, this is Dr. Kolodinker, and I'll go over how to excise a mucoid cyst. So typically they occur at the distal interphalangeal joints. Mucoid cysts are similar to what a ganglion cyst would be like. They stem all the way from inside the joint. So typically we'll make two semi-elliptical incisions, hemostasis, blood control, some sort of tourniquet. Uh, in this case, I'm using a toe tourniquet. You can use an ankle tourniquet. Large flaps are ideal, so when you're making the incision, um, try not to skive and elevate a thick piece of skin. Minimal contact with the remaining skin layer is really important. And again, this goes all the way down to the joint, so this is ideally done in a surgical center environment rather than an office to decrease chance of infection. Antibiotics are typically given preoperatively before the start of the procedure to minimize chance of postoperative infection. So you'll go all the way down the joint. You can rongeur a little bit. You can cauterize. Anything to help create scar tissue at that joint level is really important. Irrigate with some copious amounts of fluids and then start suturing up. You can use deep suture. Typically, I'll use monocryl and then close the skin with some nylon. Uh, simple sutures are ideal, and they can be removed in about two weeks, and a compression bandage placed on the toe will help minimize swelling. I typically will use a self-adhesive uh, elastic bandage, something like a Coban, uh, put a non-stick adaptic or zero form underneath that, and that's usually enough for bandaging. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.